Good morning. Mary, Mary, and Salome go to the tomb very early, first thing, Sunday morning, the first day of the week. They're going to, going to anoint Jesus' body for burial. They get quite a surprise, the ultimate surprise, in fact. We're going to read it here in Mark 16, verses 1 to 8. Now, when the Sabbath was passed, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James, and Salome bought spices that they might come and anoint him. Very early in the morning, on the first day of the week, they came to the tomb when the sun had risen. And they said among themselves, Who will roll away the stone from the door of the tomb for us? But when they looked up, they saw that the stone had been rolled away, for it was very large. And entering the tomb, they saw a young man clothed in a long white robe sitting on the right side, and, and they were alarmed. But he said to them, Do not be alarmed. You seek Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He is risen. He is not here. See the place where they laid him? Go tell his disciples and Peter that he is going before you into Galilee. There you will see him, as he said to you. So they went out quickly and fled from the tomb, for they trembled and were amazed, and they said nothing to anyone, for they were afraid. So Jesus' dead body had been placed in the tomb Friday evening. The sun was setting. That's right when Sabbath begins. Everything was happening very quickly, and they didn't really have time to anoint the body like they would have liked to. The Sabbath, as you remember, that was kept by Jesus, and it was kept by all the different disciples and apostles. And so uh, they keep the Sabbath even after Jesus has died. There's nothing away, gone away from that. It's still part of the Ten Commandments. And so they're going to be faithful, observe the Sabbath, after sundown Saturday night, though, they, they buy their spices and they prepare them. And so they're ready to go very early on the first day of the week. And off they go to the tomb. They are amazed when they get there to see the stone rolled away. Oh, this is bad news. This looks terrible. Somebody has gotten in and desecrated the tomb. What have they done? They race down into the tomb and find Jesus is indeed gone. His body is not laying there where it was left. But... To their amazement, there sits a being, a, a, an angel, is sitting there, and he has a message for them. Don't be alarmed, he said. Jesus isn't here. He's risen. It's the best news they could have ever received. And so he says, uh, he's going to go before you like he promised you. He's going to go into Galilee. You'll meet him there. So you need to follow through. And of course, if you go back just a little bit here uh, to Mark 14, verse 28. Uh, it was right about in there where Jesus promised them that he would see them after. And so uh, they are shocked, they are surprised, they are amazed, and they're afraid because this is very different than their expectation. And so they flee the tomb, they're thinking about this, and they go on out, and they are quite amazed. It's interesting, isn't it, how often we uh, forget that Jesus is a risen Savior. He, he is risen. That's the best news we could possibly have. And sometimes we act as though, well, Jesus died, and uh, I guess now we're back to theory. You know, none of this really matters. There's nothing going on. This is just theory. But no, no. This is reality. The tomb is empty. The tomb is empty. This is, this is important news. We serve a, a Savior who has come back from the dead that is something, something that we can have at the beginning of each day is that knowledge that we serve him, he who is alive. He has been to the grave and come back. He is alive forevermore. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for your coming, taking humanity, living, not sinning, suffering, paying the penalty for us with your sinlessness, dying on the cross, Lord, and then rising from the dead. You have conquered death, conquered it for you and conquered it for us. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Bless, we pray, our day. Help us to live this day knowing we serve one who is alive from the dead. Thank you for helping us to overcome our, our strange lack of belief. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So live this day, not as though you're living, you know, with fingers crossed, like, you know, well, maybe Jesus will rise from the dead. It's a done deal. He has risen. And that will give us something interesting to fill us with life today and hope. God be with you. Have a wonderful day serving the risen Savior.